Hi folks, how's it going? We are back out and we're in the far north of Scotland. Can't get much further than this to be honest. I'm just outside the village of Tung and I'm on my way up a very fine mountain called Ben Loyal. I was up at four o'clock this morning. Kevin arrived at five o'clock. Four hour drive up. I've dropped him off at the Crask Inn. He's met Stevie. They're doing some Munro bagging. Uh, ben Klebrek and Ben Hope. I'm hopefully going to meet them at the base of Ben Hope. I don't know yet, just the timings. Their walk is about the same distance as this. But I had that drive to get here first, so they'll be a little bit ahead of me. But yeah, anyways, it's a fine day. It's a bit hazy, and there's some weather coming in later on. So hopefully, being away up north, we'll avoid the worst of that and we'll camp out somewhere tonight we'll see where we end up why the long face? nah it is well it wouldn't be a farm track without a bit of flooding Nice. That is me on the open moorland now. Took about half an hour to clear the farm. And uh, now I'm just winging my way towards the mighty Ben Loyal. Just a wee river crossing just there. Might prove a little bit difficult in spay, but breeze that today. It's a little bit hazy, but hopefully you can see this. Our route is up to the saddle here, avoiding the craggy bit, and then we go up around the side, and then up onto the top here. That's not the summit, this one. The summit is just further back on the ridge. That's me just hit the 200 meter contour line. This little bad boy here behind me, that sits at 712. So if you do the math, that's 512 meters to go in this heat. <laughs> right, let's do it. This is hard work, folks, honestly. So I'm going to stop for a breather and some lunch. I'm going to have my triple cheese sandwiches before they turn into a triple cheese melt. It's rather hot. Whew. So I left about five, ten minutes ago after having my triple cheese melt, and I've come across a plane wreck that I never knew about, just about another 50 meters or so up. Uh, I'll need to look this one up because I know nothing about it at all. That's all I can really see, I don't know. I'll go a little bit higher, see if there's any propellers or other bits and bobs. That looks like a little bit of wing. It's just gone one now, so yeah, two hours it's took me. I've still not quite got the ridge. Got a bit of realism here. <laughs> Whew, right. Let's go. Well, well, well. I just reached the uh, north top there. It's just a tad too misty to get the best of the views out to the north. So uh, I'm just going to crack on towards the main summit of Ben Loyal, which is Anne Castile, which I believe simply translates to the castle. 
Oh, jeez Louise, I'm out of breath. <laughs> If you're in a bit of a sporting mood, there's plenty of scrambling to be had. I'm going to take the bypass path on this side there. I actually got a little touch of vertigo just sticking my head over that uh, cliff there. So <laughs> I lost my nerve just a little tad there. Whew. Well, if you ever fancy wild camping this one, this is flat as a pancake. It's actually quite nice underfoot. There's a couple of little walk-ins dotted about, so no shortage of aqua. I think Castillo looks a bit intimidating from here, folks. You'll probably maybe just make out there's a path that swings out to the right, and I believe there is a short and easy scramble up this side and along to the summit. So don't be too worried about the rocky tor at the top there. There's an easy scramble here. I don't know if that's what it means, but we'll find out. Let's go. Ah, there's a trick point. Look at these little rock cut basins. This one's almost like a perfect circle. And I think this is just years and years of water being swirled around with the wind. And it's just created this. That must have took donkey's years. Nice. I've got a wee confession, folks. I'm actually rocking a two day hangover. I was at a whiskey tasting event uh, on Thursday there and I bumped into an old friend from school who was running the whiskey event and he's a spirit manager for Rare Finds Whiskies I think they're called and then we bumped into two old football friends in the pub and we're just on a bit of banter, a few libations and yeah, suffering for it today and yesterday <laughs> so yeah, when I was over there, just looking over the edge just a, a few moments after that I just felt a little bit queasy and uh, I was a little bit dizzy just reaching the summit there so I'm just Taking a few moments to recompose myself before I start the journey back down. <laughs> just got a message from Kevin in the group chat. Him and Stevie have just reached the summit of Ben Klebrek, so they'll be making their way down as well. Right folks, I'm just heading down the way that I came up. Doesn't seem any point showing you any more of this at the moment, so I shall bring you back uh, later on once I've met the lads and we've decided where we're going to camp tonight. I'm on the NC500 route between Tongue and Durness. I've just stopped here because it's fantastic. It's just vast blanket bog. It's pretty stunning. And you can see Ben Loyal, which I just did about an hour or two ago. I've also got Ben Hope, which Kevin and Stevie are doing as we speak. And it's just a fantastic vista. It's probably Tick Central and I'm cutting about in the long grass and my shorts and sandals socks as well by the way yes. shame I've not got my drone with me because I think that would have given you a better perspective of the blanket bog here anyways, let's get around to Ben Hope
trying to find somewhere suitable to camp tonight. So far, haven't found anything. Come up to this old brook here, thinking there may be a bit of flat grass behind it, but alas, there is nothing. So, uh, chapping at the moment. Still struggling to find somewhere to camp. I'm just wandering down to this bridge because there seems to be a little bit of grass by the woodland. Let's have a look. I'd be willing to cross that to be honest, but there's a house over there. <laughs> this is looking a little bit lumpy bumpy, that's a shame. Maybe beggars can't be choosers. I seen this from a distance and I actually thought it was a real deer. Hey pal. Just took a few hits by the way. Well that was a waste of time crossing the dodgy bridge. Oh lumpy bumpy over here as well. Hopefully my trousers are dry because I've just swiped three ticks off my legs while I wore shorts, I do not know. Nothing else for it folks. It is eight o'clock. They're still up the hill somewhere. And uh, I get first dibs on the pitches anyway while they're coming down, so I'm gonna get the dusting pitched. That isn't too bad by the way. It's a little bit, but I'll have to do. Right, we are pitched. The dusting is up. Still can't see Hoddit and Doddit. They are taking their time. Anyways, some sweet and sour noodles. As an appetizer before I have my macaroni cheese. Hopefully they're not going to be too long now. I'm getting lonely down here. Just me and the ticks. <laughs> Shard mate! I'm a bad bird. Like Gusta. Not bad. You left Kev on the hill? <laughs> no, I've come. I've, I've waited on him a couple of times. Eh? I, 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 I wait to see him then I'm on again, not uh, me. Uh, yeah. Ben Hope was Kev's 200th Munro. 82 to go. And I've got. 26 Corbett's to go. <sighs> Wish I never committed to them though. <laughs> They're a mission. Well, it's Kevin pitched. It's like nearly 10 o'clock, so still light, which is a bonus, but I'm just going to wrap this up now. Tomorrow morning, we're going to just pack up, maybe do a hill on the way down the road, and then uh, back home. So, uh, if you watched this far, thank you very much, and I'll catch you next one. Cheers.